today on Moonstar, a Sailor Moon podcast. Serena's boobs are supposed to fully be out in this scene. And I think they, they definitely are in the Japanese version. No nipple or anything, but you know, boobs. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Moonstar, a Sailor Moon podcast. The show where our inner child meets yours once a week and we watch Sailor Moon on a VHS tape on an old school TV that is heavy and difficult to move. And we just have a party together. This week, we're going to be watching the fourth episode of Sailor Moon. And I'm so excited to get into it because it has such a nice, special message. And I think personally, I find it to be evidence that you actually can change culture with positivity. But, you know, I'll let you guys listen to the episode and you can check in with me then at the end and see if you agree or not. But in the meantime, let's take care of some housekeeping. The first thing I want to announce is that, unfortunately, at this time, there have only been two comments on the video that we announced our giveaway for. And because of that, we are going to put that on hold until we have a little bit more going on with the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm sure some of you are like, oh my god, that sucks. But you know what? Like... We got a little too excited and tried to do too much too early. No big deal. Life is about learning, right? So we are going to go ahead and just put any kind of giveaway contests and things like that on hold until we are in a better position to fully execute stuff like that. But just know the intention is there, so keep an eye out for it. However, every other announcement that has been made is still absolutely 100% accurate. Mooney Mondays is the release date, and June 30th will be... Again, International Sailor Moon Day, so come on over to our website, www.sunshinefarmcollectibles.com, for 30% off Sailor Moon merchandise and two special $1 deals. Make sure that you get there early to find those, because whoever finds them gets them. There are only one of each, so get there to check that out. And finally, regarding the most housekeeping-y housekeeping stuff... We are still looking for guests, so anyone who is interested in being interviewed for the podcast, please reach out via sunshinefarmcollectibles at gmail.com or sunshinefarmentertainment at gmail.com. Both lead to victory for you and me, (laughs) or however you want to look at it, but we would love to talk to some of you who have been listening, possibly, uh... Oh, yeah. Exciting news, though. We are starting to reach out to people who have participated either in the actual Deke dub or fan projects and various fan creators. And so we're hoping eventually to get some on-topic interviews for you guys to, to sort of spice things up here. You know, I'm sure you're all like, oh, my God, no, you're totally enough on your own. <laughs> Thank you. That's so lovely to hear. But... As much as I love the sound of my own voice, can you detect the sarcasm? Uh, I would really love a chance to talk to some other people about Sailor Moon who are as into it or at least had a relevant experience to it. Uh, So help get, you know, more than just one point of view going here. So that is always something that we're looking for. Again, reach out via the website or the emails that you heard earlier. And let's jump on into our Scout Vibes and Nega Vibes for the week. All right, here we go. Scout vibes for me. I had to think about this one because I didn't want to just make my scout vibe every week about how happy I am with the business growth and how much fun I'm having working on it. So this one is a, it's more specific. I'm excited because I was able to secure a place for us at a local um, collectible toy expo sort of like con kind of thing. I don't think it's as big as, you know, the anime cons people typically go to, which I have a plan to, you know, try to get into those probably next year. But it is fantastic. And it's such a great feeling that our website is professional enough and looking good enough and everything to be taken seriously by these people and given a chance to be there. So, you know, I'm excited to be getting to go to do that in about a month. And yeah, that for me is my scout vibe is, you know, 
moving forward, setting dates, setting goals, making it happen. Another club, another club. You get the picture. Uh, all right, so my nega vibes for me this week, and I can't be the only one who feels this way. My 30s hit me and it's like my energy levels cannot decide what the fuck they want to do. Like I will be in the perfect, just like going, 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 and like so full of energy for a solid like three, four days. And then all of a sudden it's just like, Whoa. and then you kind of like, okay, now I got to take a second and recalibrate. And there is no like anxiety, no depression, none of that. Like, trust me, I've been there for the better part of a decade and I know those feelings very well. But it's just this weird, random like fluctuation of my energy levels that can make planning a little bit challenging. Uh, so for me, that is my nega vibe this week. And you know, who knows? Maybe they got a negaverse item sapping my energy. I gotta like watch out for that shit, you know? All right, so I would love to hear some of yours. If you want to share your scout vibe or nega vibe with us, go ahead and leave a five-star review on iTunes or go ahead and find us on Instagram, Sunshine Farm Collectibles, and leave a comment on one of our things there. Or comment it on any video of ours on YouTube, Sunshine Farm Collectibles on YouTube. All right, let's get going with the walkthrough. Sailor Moon says, it's time for a break. Tee hee. Nope, it's still in the ending from the last one. Fast forward just a little. Oh, I want to hear this part. The little intros are so cute. Here, I'll let you guys hear this one. Today on Sailor Moon, the evil masters of the Negaverse steal into our dreams, making us believe that only the very thin can be beautiful. An extremely dangerous notion. Watch and see. Sailor Moon will be right back. Okay, so right away, I kind of love that they brought that up. First of all, this episode is called Slim City. And this is about uh, anorexia, bulimia, sort of, in a, a roundabout way. Essentially what she said, though, it's the whole idea that being thin is the only way to be beautiful and what I love the reason I love it so much is this was something if if you grew up in the U.S. in the 90s and early aughts that you know body positivity was a really big thing and we were fighting against sort of in a way the the whole Typical standard of beauty, I guess. I don't know. For some reason, it's hard for me to frame words around it because my own gender identity is a little confusing and, and I've had my own experiences with people assuming things about me because I guess I looked good in a picture one time and then it's like, okay, but I'm, <laughs> I don't know. It's a whole long story. I've just never felt confident the way I think other people think I do. I don't know why. Um... But yeah, we were all sort of victims of this. You have to look this way. If you don't, something's wrong with you. And God, if you're a gay man in the early 2000s, it was such a vicious time. People would openly tell you to get an eating disorder. You should kill yourself because you're so fat. Like, and I'm not even exaggerating. You know, some gay men were horrible to each other. And maybe they're mad at me. <laughs> right now for outing that about our community but like we need to face it gay men can be awful and but also gay men who are not thin can also be awful to thin gay men you know what i'm saying so it's like it goes both ways you guys got it we just got to stop being shitty to everybody sorry back to the show <laughs> 
she gained half a pound and she's losing her mind. She is a, you know, a middle school girl, but her family is fully like fat shaming her. Oh my god, and then Luna draws a fat Sailor Moon. I mean, this is just a show, so it's cute and funny. In real life, I'd be sad, but <laughs> the picture's so goofy. Honestly, I would love to see a chubby Sailor Moon. Like, for real, in all seriousness, I think that would be so cute. Jadeite's appearing to her as like a hologram for some reason this time, not full body. Even though they can teleport through a black hole. They expend an absurd amount of energy on crazy diets. And yeah, okay. Yes. Oh, her friend with the bob got a boyfriend. And then their little chubby friend is like making fun of her boyfriend. They're about to fight each other. I forgot about that. See, that's what I was talking about. Their little side story. They get this little moment. And they ultimately just go away. Miss Haruna is so pretty. Oh my god. Way to be creepy, Melvin. He has pictures of her working out at the gym. Okay. Listen. To those of you who are listening. That... Grew, did not grow up in the time before everybody had a damn camera in their hand. That shit is creepy and rude. Stop doing it to people. Stop filming everyone in public. It's fucking weird. Like, let people just be who they are and live their lives. Oh my god. It's, everybody just, I think it's because everyone thinks they're gonna be, like, the next, oh, I'm gonna get so many views for this, blah, blah, blah. But then you're, like, freaking people the fuck out who are probably just, like, having their own day and you don't understand what's going on. And they see you filming them for no reason. You know? It's, like, knock it off. That's Negaverse stuff, y'all. Oh, they're all at this new gym built by the Negaverse, of, Kurt, of course. Jedi in this purple and green tracksuit with these amazing glasses. Okay, yes, please. They're all, like, so into him. I mean, I get it. Come over here, just work your workout until you basically die. They have, like, the most absurd bodybuilders <laughs> with amazing hair. Like, why is this guy wearing a tiara? <laughs> why are they both wearing tiaras? Was that a normal thing? I don't know. Was that a normal thing for, like, fitness instructors back in the 90s? You just had, like, a weird tiara on your head? Brandy. That was the Bob girl's name. He's being so rude to them. And they're just doing what he says. Oh, yeah, you're all done. You look like death. Now go downstairs and sit in our alien pods. Oh, this is the edited... Yeah, okay, so Serena's boobs are supposed to fully be out in this scene. And I think they, they definitely are in the Japanese version. No nipple or anything, but, you know, boobs. And, of course, this being made for kids, they were like, we must hide it. And if you look really, really closely, I think there's, like, a, a frame or two where you kind of catch some side boob and you can see the, the funky attempt at hiding it. <laughs> They're also like, yeah, let's go get into these crazy things. The pods are cool, honestly. I mean, if they weren't taking your energy and they were actually helping you, I would probably go, like, if I could just, like, chill in one and get out and have, like, the energy I did in my youth. Are you kidding me? Yes. I mean, sure, the aliens are probably downloading your brain, but, like, there's... Have at it. Like, it'll just confuse them. <laughs> they all look so old now. And this, like, blue highlighting on them makes them look really sick. I love the animation for him holding the energy little orbs. I know it's so simple and it's just like this spinning ball, but it's so cool. Also, I always like to imagine what would have happened if they succeeded in just one of these missions, you know? But if you have a good story for that, share in the comments. Or I guess if you're on a podcast app, give us a good rating and then put your comment there. Please don't steal food from a child, Serena. 
That's rude. I would run away too. I love this poster of a hot dog behind her. Oh, Andrew. He's always there when she needs him. You know, when she's not Sailor Moon. He's kind of her, like, I guess, Usagi Serena counterpart tuxedo, because he helps her out more in real life in the beginning than Darian ever does. I think he's, isn't he, I swear he's there when they go to that creepy ghost mansion. I, I, I don't remember if that was a dubbed episode or not. I hope it was. If not, we'll watch it on a fan dub. She's all into Andrew now. She can't decide. He's like, I'm going to get you a big steak, french fries, and a chocolate malt. But really, he's like giving her medicine or some tea or some shit. Oh, it's a soda. Uh, he's like, when you fainted into my arms, it made me so happy. And then she's like, oh, really? And he's like... Yeah, made me know I want to be a doctor. Oh, you know what it is. Gay. Oh, and he's being all supportive. Like, you look good, girl. You don't need to lose any weight. Andrew was her gay best friend that she didn't know she had. Let's see. Her cherry is so cute. I love the little, like, donut ball things. I wish I knew exactly what those were. They look so good. She throws one at him. Oh, I wish it hit him in the face instead of him catching it and eating it. Rude. Oh, they're dumplings. Dumpling head, that's right. Stop making fun of her for eating. Oh my god, everyone is so mean to her. No wonder she cries all the time. Am I gonna turn into a donut? See, Luna, when you make people feel all bad and call them fat and stuff, then they get all obsessed about their weight and they don't have time to do important things like Sailor Scout business. Teach you to draw fat Sailor Moon. So rude. Let her be fat if she wants to be fat. Or full figured or full bodied or whatever the correct term is. I'm sorry, I'm old, I don't know. I'm a person of stature myself at times. Honestly, I really, really like the whole pod can like setup they have. It looks so cool. Oh, he was basically like, yeah, if you keep coming back and keep doing this, eventually you will die. So I guess that's the reason they never succeed, because if they did, they would be literally killing people. Oh, Luna's so smart. <laughs> They're, like, fighting, and Luna's like, pay attention. I love Luna holding her claw to her, like, listen, stop obsessing and being a bitch. We have stuff to do, transform... I love how her Moon Prism Power Hand, by the way, was not, like, universified, unified, what, ugh, ugh, bleh, what, what's the word for it? I don't know. Not all the same. Like, there, whatever position she was in, however her hand went up, you got to see the full, like, outline of it, and then later it changed to the one with the nail polish. I'm curious when that happens. That'll be fun to figure out. Miss Haruna looks fucking crazy oh because she's about to die she got there just in time or oh, her silhouette with the her ponytails blowing looks so good oh the tiara boys are actually yoma i would be so intimidated if i were her he's got his little ball of energy is like really intense in this episode Use your TR, you can beat all three of these angry dudes. I can't tell if they're Yoma or they're just being controlled by the TRs. I think that's what it is. She's like, you have to fight them or your teacher's gonna die. She just punched him in the stomach. Kick. You better work. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? So, okay, this one guy throws his dumbbell at her and they just show, like, three frames of her like the middle of her transformation when she's getting her tiara for some reason and then it just misses her and blows up their own thing and then suddenly she's like doing moon tr magic that was the weirdest spliced together fight like what just happened okay yeah she broke all their their tiaras with her tiara and now they're all like what happened if i were her i'd be like oh hey hunky dudes i just saved your life I that's so cool looking 
she's all mad at him, but, like, it looks like he got a lot of energy. And I'm, like, confused if they get to keep what they got that far or, like, if it all just goes away each time. She's in the bath again. Girl cannot stop. I love the way her ponytails look all tied up, though. That's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sammy rigged her scale to make it say she gained a bunch of weight and she's all freaked out. I forgot he does that to her. Poor girl. Sailor Moon says it's time for a break. Tee hee. Starving yourself and exercising till you drop is not a smart way to lose weight. Like a car without gas, our bodies can't run without food. Good nutritional food. If you think you need to lose weight, talk to someone who really knows. Like a doctor, it could save your life. And please remember, real beauty really does come from inside. Oh, That was fun. All right. Let's discuss a little bit while I let this ending run out. I think there's still one episode left on the tape. Let me check the box. So you want to be a superstar. That'll be next week. Yep, there's one more. Cool. And then we will be officially finished with the very first volume of Sailor Moon on VHS. The Legend Begins is the name of the tape. We're currently working our way through. If you would like to see the beautiful box art, please visit our website. You'll hear it at the end. I better hit stop, turn that off. All righty, so let's talk. I mentioned a little bit, <clears throat> I mentioned a little bit at the beginning uh, that I love this episode for the body positivity in it, sort of. For a lot of us at that age, that was the first time we were seeing exercise portrayed in where you could actually do it too much there's you don't have to necessarily be thin to be accepted and this message was really really pushed in the 90s and early 2000s and you can see now the results of that directly in culture because it is no longer that you have to be rail thin to be accepted or to be viewed as a, as sexy or beautiful or whatever and i think that's amazing and that's one of the reasons why I like, I really don't think we should forsake all of this media from the past that maybe isn't made perfectly by today's quote standards because it represents the progress we've made and it's, it's dead ass proof that when you uplift a generation you can actually change culture. I I mean, maybe I'm. you think I'm being a little, you know, over the top about it. But hey, I mean, we're here to have a good time and, and be over the top, right? So I, I'm not saying this single episode did all that. But it wasn't just this episode. It was a lot of different versions of this message, like scattered throughout all of the different media we consumed as kids. I, I distinctly remember an episode of That's So Raven that focused about this. I know it was probably in a ton of sitcoms that we all grew up watching. Uh, so as much as there was this thing sort of being pushed at us through magazines and you do still have it coming at you every direction from Instagram, from this and that, the, there was sort of a combat a combative message to that saying like actually no you don't have to be that way no matter how many people tell you you do so i think this episode is great to have that message it was a great thing for us to see as kids i love seeing it now again as an adult because i mean body issues follow you throughout your life you know everybody's always working on something no matter how perfect you think they look with i, I would say maybe the top 10 percent of like <laughs> fitness people maybe but you know what I mean and even them they're probably like oh my god there's like a weird wrinkle on my chin and they obsess about that wrinkle on their chin and you never even would notice it but they think about it you see, like everyone's got something you know so anyway enough about that uh let's go into some other stuff about Sailor Moon that's sort of fun um we oh oh yeah so we recently found our second Negavision volume. So 
I believe we have the first six episodes of Sailor Stars from the Negavision fan dub in our possession, and we recently dropped them off to a local place that will rip them for us and convert them into digital and give us a DVD copy and all of that great stuff. So once that is done, definitely check out the website to get to look at that for free. That is just our effort to preserve 90s and early 2000s anime culture, specifically Sailor Moon culture, so look for that. Also, I'm very excited about today's spotlight anime music video in the wrap-up because this is a video that I've loved uh, for a really long time, and I used to watch it all the time on YouTube until it disappeared, I'm assuming, for a copyright issue or something. And once it was gone, I was so bummed out because I, I dug and I dug and I couldn't find it anywhere. And eventually I said, eh, screw it. Let me find the person who created it and see if I can get a hold of them directly. And the only way I found out how was through their Facebook page. And I sent a message and they actually got back to me very, very quickly and sent me a, a private download link to it, which I put up on the website right away with proper credits and stuff. And I dropped it on the Instagram to let people know it's there. But I was just so thrilled that someone took the time to respond to me and actually send me something like that. And now it is for going to be, I have that video, so <clears throat> it will be forever on the internet somewhere. I'll make sure of that, whether it's my website or some other obscure anime music video website, it'll stay around. But it's such a great one, so I'm happy to get to share that with you guys, you know? All right, um... I think I'm going to close out the little walk through or the watch through and episode wrap up here and I'll just go into the outro. Peace. We would just like to take a fact. Nope. <laughs> we would just like it. A... Nope. We would just like to take a second to thank you for listening to yet another episode of Moonstar, a Sailor Moon podcast. Today, our spotlight AMV was created by Kaosu Studios, I hope I'm saying that correctly, and the song being used is Monster. I'm actually not sure who the artist is for this song, so if someone could please let me know. I haven't been able to find it myself. I think my Google skills are just not great. But yeah, someone please let me know the artist because I'd love to credit them. However, you can watch this specific AMV on our website, www.sunshinefarmcollectibles.com because it is not available on YouTube or anywhere else. And I actually had to receive this straight from the creator, as you heard earlier. Uh, let me just... Okay, so... Is there any other... Oh, yeah. If you check out the uh, video on our website, though, in the description, uh, you can get a link to the creator's current YouTube page and their Facebook page. So if you would like to support... Kaosu Studios, because you've watched this or you see this and you like their work, definitely go ahead and check that out. All right, here we go. Yeah.